Okay, well, Bulavanaka and a very good afternoon to everyone. Daniel from the Fiji Trade Commission here, and I've got a few of my colleagues on the panel this afternoon uh, as well. And welcome to the second webinar uh, in a series of webinars we're hosting looking at e-commerce opportunities for Fiji and SMEs. Uh, where each session we have a speaker from different e-commerce platforms giving you information uh, and guidance about how to get online uh, and promote your products. Uh, particularly in the current environment, uh, it's important for businesses to think about your own online presence uh, with more and more people getting online uh, and how you can think about getting in front of your customers. Um, just by way of housekeeping, I will introduce our speaker for this session uh, shortly, followed uh, who then present, and we'll then follow that with a Q&A session. So I'd encourage you all to utilize uh, the chat function or the Q&A function, put in your questions throughout the presentation uh, so that when we get to the end, we can just uh, get through as many uh, as we can. Uh, but without further ado, I'm very excited to uh, introduce our speaker for this session, uh, Amy Zobek. Uh, so Amy works in the Shopify APAC enterprise sales team uh, with a focus on making commerce better for her enterprise merchants. Uh, she initiated her career uh, in the unified communication space uh, and moved to LinkedIn in 2015, uh, working with sales professionals, uh, helping them improve their sales pipeline and productivity through social selling. Uh, in 2018, Amy worked closely with businesses to help them leverage LinkedIn to drive results in their brand awareness, content marketing, uh, and demand uh, generation efforts. Uh, and Amy is very passionate about uh, helping clients achieve their goals. Uh, so without further ado, I will hand over to Amy. Thank you, Daniel. And I'm really happy today to be taking you through how to get started on Shopify. Uh, so as mentioned, I work on the Shopify Plus team here in Asia Pacific. I am based in Sydney in Australia, and I will help merchants to get started on Shopify. I help merchants who traditionally have bricks and mortar stores um, to help them move their businesses online uh, and also help existing businesses that are using online e-commerce platforms and help them optimize their solutions uh, by moving over to Shopify. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, and as mentioned, uh, please, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the chat panel and we will get to them at the end. So what is Shopify? Shopify is an e-commerce platform that looks at how you can sell your products in an online channel. It is one platform. So when we say one platform, what we mean is that it will handle all of your product information. It will be your website. You can manage your inventory through the platform. You can then also sell in real life. So using our point of sale solution as well. You can manage all of your customer data, manage all of your marketing. So essentially it's a one-stop shop to get your business online and we make that as easy as possible so you can see here all of your marketing all of your analytics inventory order management shipping it all lives within the one platform that is shopify and we'll talk soon about how you can start to integrate shopify with other tools but in terms of the day-to-day -day running of a basic e-commerce business you will be able to do most of that through the shopify platform in terms of Shopify as a platform, we currently have 1 million merchants on our platform. And I believe that that's actually a little bit more than a million as it stands today. They range from small businesses on Shopify. So that could be anything from someone starting a business at home. It could be an online only business, uh, making a sale or two a month right up to your large enterprise merchants that use Shopify Plus, which is our enterprise version of Shopify, the team that I work on. Uh, and they could be making hundreds of millions of dollars uh, every single year through the Shopify platform. We currently operate in 175 countries. Uh, I am responsible for merchants across the Asia Pacific region. Uh, and primarily uh, being based in Australia, we have a focus on Australia and New Zealand merchants, um, but expanding throughout the Asia Pacific region uh, as we speak, which is very, very exciting. Here is just a snapshot of some of the brands that are currently on Shopify. So as I mentioned, we do scale right up to very well-known household brands. Uh, and that is the great thing about the Shopify platform 
is the ability to start small on our platform. So just do the basics of Shopify of running an e-commerce business. And as your business grows, we are able to scale up with you um, so that you eventually can be looking at some of the more robust and enterprise features of Shopify. But we're really along with you for the journey. And I'll talk a little bit later about the support that we will provide to you um, on an ongoing basis in terms of getting your store set up and then ongoing support. Locally, I've just listed a couple of New Zealand brands here as well. So as mentioned, we work with uh, merchants across Asia Pacific, Australia and New Zealand. Um, and again, we're working with you uh, as of today. So really looking to understand uh, the businesses within Fiji and also how we can support you moving forward. So this is really just the first step. Um, I will talk about some of those resources and support that we offer, but really look at, looking at how we can strengthen the relationship uh, with Fijian merchants. So I'm going to go ahead now and get started. And as I mentioned, feel free to jump in at any time with any questions that you do have. But I'm going to be going through the basics of setting up a store on Shopify. This is just the start of the journey. So it's really education, really showing you how you can start to take those steps to get set up on Shopify. But as mentioned, the best way to get started is really going to our website. We have so many resources, everything from how to generate a logo for your business to how to create a business name online. So really the fundamentals of getting your business set up online, everything that you need from a compliance perspective, right through to the, the fun stuff, which is setting up your online store and how easy that is. So we do have all of those guides and all of those resources, which I will direct you to after the webinar concludes. First of all, I just want to briefly touch on how we've responded to uh, COVID-19. So we have seen a lot of merchants whose businesses have changed throughout this period, whether their online uh, store has been impacted by customers not um, having that same discretionary budget that they used to, right through to, as we know, shop fronts being closed. And so businesses very quickly having to move online. And so what we've done is we've actually created a resource page, which is, again is available to you, um, going through to shopify.com.au or shopify.co.nz. It directs you straight through to the COVID-19 resources. Um, and a couple of things just to mention here is we're now providing gift cards for all of our plan, all of our Shopify plans. Just to note, our Shopify plans start at $9 USD per month and then do scale up depending on what your business requirements are. Also things like click and collect. So the ability for a customer to be able to make a purchase online and then come and pick it up from your location, wherever your products are being made. Um, if you have a shop front as an example, so not actually having to set up a full delivery service for those items. Um, a whole bunch of live events and education. And also we've just added our email marketing solution, which is the ability for you to be able to send emails to your customers. And that is actually free for the next few months. So we are allowing our customers to be able to um, try our Shopify email, as I mentioned, which has just been launched again, to give you additional benefit throughout this period to be able to communicate with your customers um, and let them know that you're, online, you've got that online presence um, and you are open for business in terms of being able to sell your products online. In terms of the Shopify basics, so as I mentioned, Shopify is that one-stop shop for running your e-commerce business. It is a web-based application. So what you do is you create a Shopify account. Once you've created that account and you log in, this is what you will see. So it is a dashboard, which over on the left-hand side, you can see has everything from your orders, your products, your customers, all of your reporting will live in there as well. And below under there, you can see my sales channels, which I've got online store, which is your website and point of sale, which is your in-person. So being able to actually sell products um, if you do have a store or a market, as an example. This is where all of your sales data will live. And also it will give you different tips and tricks to help to build your store. So different insights, 
top selling products as an example. It could be some videos, some articles that we want you to read. And this is all based on interactions on your store. So it's all live data and it is personalized just for you based on the behavior of your store. In terms of products, so they're really easy to add. And what I'll say here before I go any further is that with Shopify, it has been designed so that you don't need any technical experience. So you don't need to be a developer. You don't need to know any coding. It's simply a matter of going through the step-by-step -step guides. And with your products, all you're doing is uploading an image of that product, writing a product description, adding the number of quantities that you have for that product, and then publishing it to your online store. So there's no need for you to actually go in and develop or code anything in to be able to push that product to the front end of your store. Not only can you sell physical products, but you can also sell digital products as well. Um, so things like a download, um, an article, a gift card, whatever it may be, you've also got the ability to sell digital products. They don't just have to be physical products. We can also set the products up with variants. So what that means is that let's say you're selling a t-shirt, the t-shirt is the product and the variant might be the color. So you might have a blue, a red and an orange t-shirt and you may then have that shirt in a small, a medium and a large. So you can actually create that to say the t-shirt is the product and I'm then going to create my variants underneath those products. And then what you can do is you can manage your inventory. Uh, so we've actually got a basic inventory management solution that you can use to then track which items are sold and it will then be deducted from that inventory. And what you can then do to take things even further is group those products in collections. So again, if we go back to the t-shirt example, that may be part of the apparel section. And let's say then you're selling some jewelry items that may be part of the accessories collection. So you can then start to categorize your products into different um, groups so that your customers can quickly go to your online store and find what they're looking for quickly and easily. And then on the back end, it helps you to be able to manage your products easier, um, to be able to categorize them, track inventory, uh, track the product images, as well as your top selling products as well. So here's a little bit more about collections, as I've mentioned um, with this particular example, they're using um, a food example. So you can see baked goods, hot coffee, etc. And what you can do is you can actually set it up so that products will be automatically assigned to a collection. So for example, if we use the t-shirt uh, example, then if you add a t-shirt as a product, you can set it up so that it will automatically assign it to the apparel collection, as an example. As mentioned, it will help customers to browse your products and it actually makes for a more enjoyable shopping experience for your customers as they're able to very easily find the products that they're looking for. We do also have the ability to create discounts in Shopify. So again, there's no coding required on your store you will be able to go in yourself and create a discount. So you can either create an automatic discount, which for example, let's say it's 20% off all t-shirts, or you can go in and create a discount code. So that might be where a, you send that code to a group of customers and then they can then apply that code at the checkout. You may have seen that if you've been a shopper before on a store where you copy and paste a code to then receive a discount. So the types of discounts we can do is a monetary amount off. So it might be $30 off this t-shirt. It could be a percentage based, as mentioned, 20% off. Or you may want to do a buy X, get Y. So for example, buy one t-shirt, get one t-shirt free. So you can create those discounts just with a click of a few buttons in your store. You can apply that discount to specific products, collections, or variants. And as mentioned, you can also create a discount link as well for your customers that can go through, click on that link, and that discount is applied. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the online store experience. So Shopify has something called pages. And if you think about the pages of a website, so if you go onto a website, you may have a 
home page. You may have an about us section. You might have a frequently asked question section. So we call those pages in Shopify and you've got the ability to go in and create your own pages. Just again, by typing that information, creating a new page, the platform is very intuitive and very, very easy to use. You can also jump back in and change those pages at any time by going in, editing that page, and it will automatically change the copy or the content that is on the front end of your store. So what your customers are seeing. This really helps you to build trust with customers. So as mentioned, we really like our merchants having that about us section. So telling them a little bit about your story, maybe where your business started, who your customers are, um, you know, who's involved in the business, what you sell, those types of things. Merch, uh, customers love to see that from merchants. And then also things like frequently asked questions. So if you've got a delivery service, when can I expect my product to be delivered as an example? Right within your Shopify store, you've also got settings. So these are customizable to your business. So as an example, you can go in and you can set up taxes relating to products. You've also got the ability to create staff accounts and then add access to those staff accounts. So let's say you had three people working for you in your business and you needed to give one person access to just that order information and another person needed access to just the reporting information. You've got the ability to go in and create those staff accounts and then assign different access to those individuals. And then also you've got the ability to set up your shipping and fulfillment settings. So as mentioned earlier, if you don't have the ability now to set up delivery or shipping, then you can have that buy online, pick up in store. Um, so that would be also managed through here. But if you do have a delivery service, then you've got the ability to be able to set the shipping rates and the fulfillment settings right within the settings in your Shopify admin. So for the Fiji business owner, um, there's a couple of things. So the first thing I wanted to mention, and as, as mentioned earlier, this is just the start um, of our relationship uh, with Fiji and merchants. Uh, but one thing I did want to mention is one of my colleagues, uh, Inez, she is based within our New Zealand uh, team. Um, and her and her team uh, run e-coaching and e-mentoring programs for Maori and Pacific women. Um, and so that's one thing, and we can send you some information afterwards, um, but that's one thing that we're doing to help build those relationships um, with our Indigenous uh, merchants. Second of all, we actually do have a Fijian page, which will give you local supported payment gateways that you can use on your Shopify store. So there's just a couple of examples here, but again, we can direct you to that page after the webinar today. You've also got local shipping integrations uh, with shipping providers such as DHL. And we've also got 24 seven customer support. So we actually do have a 200 strong uh, support team that are based in New Zealand. And so you can call up our 24 seven support as well as you've got chat, you've got your email as well. Um, and you're able to speak to someone um, about setting up your Shopify store from everything, as I've mentioned so far, from getting your products uh, set up in the store, managing your orders, helping you with the front end design uh, of your website. Um, and so you do have that 24 seven support that you can rely on as you're setting up your Shopify store. So I've touched on that front end look and feel of your website a couple of times. And the way that we refer to those at Shopify is themes. So the theme is the front end look and feel of the website. And the great thing about Shopify is that we have pre-built these themes for you. So essentially all you have to do is browse the theme, which again is that front end look and feel of your website, choose a theme that you think resonates most with you and your business. And there's both free themes and paid themes that you can pick from. And then all you have to do from there is work within that template. So you can go in, you can upload your products from there. You can slightly change your logo, some of the branding, but really that theme is that framework or that template, which is the look and feel of your website. So we do make it really, really easy. And as you can see here, there's over a hundred different themes.
that you can choose from. In terms of selling, so as mentioned, you've got your online store, which is the ability for you to be able to sell on a website. We've also got our point of sale, which is the ability to sell in person. But then we've also got some other sales channels as well. So being able to sell through Instagram, through Facebook Messenger, and through Facebook, you can manage those sales right directly through your Shopify admin as well. So we make it really easy for you to be able to sell anywhere where your customers are. So if your customers are on Facebook and you do have a Facebook page, let's sell to them there. So you would upload your products in your Shopify admin and then you would publish those products to your Facebook channel or Facebook store so that you can sell to your customers there. And as mentioned, we've got our Shopify point of sale, which is the ability for you to be able to sell in person if you do have a shop or if you do have a market store, you're able to sell in person um, using the Shopify point of sale. So in terms of our apps, services, um, and additional functionality, Shopify has an app store. Um, so for anyone that has a mobile device, for example, an Apple iPhone, you've got your, um, your app store where you can actually go in and download additional applications to help enhance your experience on your phone. Shopify has a very similar concept. So about 80 to 90% of what you'll need to do on your Shopify store, you'll be able to do right within Shopify. And in fact, when you're getting started, potentially 100% of what you will need to do will be right within Shopify. But as your business grows, you may need some additional support in terms of what your Shopify store can offer. And that's where the app store comes in. So as an example, if you wanted to set up a enhanced uh, marketing automation or email marketing solution, you may want to leverage an app from the app store to do that. If you want to integrate with a shipping platform, you may go to the app store and download a shipping app to your uh, Shopify admin. And so it just will boost or enhance your experience and fill the gaps of anything that might be specific to your business um, that you need assistance with. And you would do that through the app store. We've also got our Shopify partners. So we have over 20,000 Shopify partners. Partners are what we call experts or freelancers. They're individuals that sit outside of Shopify that can provide you with consulting, with advice. Um, they can help you with any of the design elements. They can help you with setting up your store. And so we really work with our ecosystem of partners that can then assist you in terms of getting your um, store up and running on Shopify. And so you're probably wondering, once I've set up my store, how do I actually drive people to my store? And so we've got a few different marketing tools, again, right built within Shopify. So the first one is a blog. We really encourage merchants to be, again, telling those stories, talking about the background of some of your products, of the company, um, and you can do that using your blog. Again, it might be talking about current events, what's happening with COVID, um, the fact that, you know, that tourism um, has decreased within Fiji. So really talking about current events and things that you believe that your customers will be interested in. We've also got SEO tools, which is search engine optimization. So when customers are actually going online to Google, searching for specific products, how you can actually boost your ranking within Google so that they find your store easier. We've also got our own inbuilt marketing app. Um, so we've got an app called Kit. So that's really about how you can boost awareness, drive sales and email customers. And that's all through automation. So how you can do that automatically without manually having to set that up. We've also got email marketing. As I mentioned earlier, Shopify email, which we actually only just launched. And that gives you the ability to send emails to your customers uh, with all of your existing product information. We've also got Google Smart Shopping, and then we've also got Facebook advertising as well. And that can all be run through Shopify. So as mentioned, when you get up and running on Shopify, the majority of what you'll need to do to run your business will be right there within the Shopify admin. Oops. Uh, and then all of your data, all of your reporting, again, will live within Shopify. So not only will you see your sales data, 
and how many orders, but you'll also see any campaigns that you've run. So let's say you do a small Facebook campaign and you look at um, putting some budget towards that. Right within Shopify, you'll be able to see how that campaign has performed. So what that return on investment looks like in terms of traffic, in terms of sales, in terms of conversion rates. So in terms of tools, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have so many tools for you to get your business up and running. Everything from a logo generator, invoice generator, uh, a privacy policy. So all of these things that you need to get your store up and running on Shopify, we've got everything there ready to go step by step. We've also got a platform called Burst, which is images that you can use for your store. So it's free, um, they're really high quality, and you can use these images to actually help to build out your store. So we definitely recommend taking a look at that. And then we've got this Shopify help center, which I mentioned earlier. So chat, email, phone, you've got the ability to be able to talk to uh, help personnel, which are based, as I mentioned, uh, in New Zealand, but also it also gives you a whole bunch of documentation. So you can simply go in and search for something. It might be uploading a product as an example, and it will give you an article step-by-step -step about how to go ahead and, and take that action. And as mentioned, we've got the Shopify support, so email, live chat, and phone. In terms of you and your self-learning around Shopify, we've got Shopify Compass. So this will give you live workshops and we do host live workshops out of New Zealand that we do recommend uh, that you attend. You've also got workshops, so they could be pre-recorded, group workshops. Um, you've also got stories and progress and you can go through here and actually select the different area that you're looking to focus on and it will bring you through those courses and those resources that will assist you in that area. So as mentioned earlier, we've got shopify.com.au and shopify.co.nz. Um, so that will give you those office hours, which is actually a one-on-one -on -one session um, that you can talk to someone from our team. Upcoming events, contact resources. It's also got the pricing and all of our plans as well as all of the features that are included in those plans uh, that you can take advantage of. So in terms of next steps, uh, we do have, as mentioned, a trial that you can go ahead and sign up for. We recommend signing up for a trial and really playing around with Shopify. And I've spoken about how easy it is, um, but seeing for yourself how easy that platform is to, to get set up and running. Uh, we've also got our Get Online Fast workshops that we recommend that you register for, and they're coming up um, over the next month. And then you've got that Shopify Compass. So they're those regular workshops you can continually register for, look at those, see what's going to be the best fit for you, um, and then go ahead and register and attend those workshops. And that's it from me. I have spoken a lot for about half an hour or so. Uh, so we can open it up for questions now, Daniel. Awesome. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Amy, firstly, for, um, for, for running through that uh, presentation. Uh, the ins and outs of Shopify, how it works, uh, providing some, some local uh, Fijian context and, um, and providing all of that information and also about how Shopify itself is, a, is an all-encompassing um, e-commerce platform. So uh, we've got a few questions that, that have already come through. Um, so we'll, we'll get stuck into those. So first one from Stuart uh, asking, uh, can we make currency in Fijian dollars and still use the credit card facility built in? Um, so it's a question around uh, display currency uh, there for you, Amy. Yeah. So in terms of payment gateway, so I did mention um, that there is some locally supported Fijian uh, payment gateways that are available to you. So in terms of those payment gateways, they will support a local Fijian currency. And then it is just a matter of you on the front end of your website, allowing customers to be able to go in and select that that's the currency that they want the products to display in. Um, unfortunately at the moment, our own payment gateway, which is called Shopify payments, isn't available yet in Fiji and we'll obviously keep you updated on that, but that allows for more of a multi-currency, which is like a native ability to select different currencies. You can still do it, but it just means that you would have to, um, customize the front end so that your customer can go ahead and actually select that Fiji currency before checking out. Awesome. Great. And uh, from uh, Nahida from, from Zona United uh, says, what is your integration with DHL? So I suppose just um, some more details around uh, how you yeah. work with them. 
Yeah, that's a good question. So uh, I mentioned in my presentation, the app store. Um, so the good news is, is that DHL already have an app that you can download straight into your store, which then pairs all of their data around their shipping, around their rates, and then pulls it into your Shopify store. So you can set it up automatically to say, if a customer purchases this product and they're located in this country, then it's gonna show them that shipping rate and those, those shipping options. Um, so we can kind of automate that whole process. Um, but I recommend, as I said, setting up that trial, downloading that DHL, DHL app to your app store and then playing around with those settings. Awesome, awesome. And I've got uh, Luke from uh, Buller Coffee who's asking, does uh, Shopify have the ability to have a different uh, shop front in inverted commas depending on where the customer uh, accesses the website? For, so for example, Fijians log in and sees pricing in Fijian dollars and shipping related to Fiji, whereas Australian customers would log in and see prices in Australian dollars and shipping relevant to Australia. Um, That's a really good question. Yeah. So in terms of the look and the feel of the website, um, so as I mentioned, that theme, you would only have that the one theme uh, for Australian customers and uh, Fijian customers. However, you do have the ability to, as I mentioned earlier, kind of set that currency dependent on where they are. So you can do that in two ways. You could have a drop down so that the customer comes to your website and then it says, you know, are you in Australia? Are you in Fiji? Are you in New Zealand? They can actually select the currency that they want to see the product in. Or you can use something called GeoIP, which essentially looks at my IP address and says, oh, Amy's in Australia. Let's show her the Australian pricing. Um, so there's a couple of options um, and we probably would recommend um, going through the step-by-step -step guides in terms of setting up your store. But in terms of cross-border selling or international selling, as mentioned, you've got that director of experts. Um, so potentially you could engage with one of those to assist you with those nuances around really what you're looking to achieve when you set up your store. Yeah, awesome, awesome, thank you. Um, <clears throat> a question from um, Majid. He says, I run a delivery service business in Suva and Andy. Uh, he's asking how uh, other companies can integrate uh, their system with their online portals to use uh, their delivery service. So um, mm. I suppose asking how he can integrate with the, the, yeah. the merchant's Shopify account. That's a really good question. Um, so the answer is that it is possible. Um, so Shopify has something called uh, open APIs, which basically means that you can build an external tool that connects to Shopify. Um, and so using our things like our, um, our shipping APIs, you would be able to actually go ahead and connect. Um, if, if your solution also has API, which basically means the information from your solution can feed into Shopify, you can go ahead and build it. Um, and then you've got the ability to be able to then have it as a private application or public. Public means that it's on our app store. So then for all the merchants that are on the call today, they could actually come in they could then go into our app store. As mentioned, there's over 3000 apps. They could search for your solution um, and then actually download your app into their store so that they could connect the two platforms. Other than that, um, I mean, until um, that happens, it could just be on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So it's just a matter of you building a relationship with those merchants and then connecting to them more on a one-on-one -on -one, um, versus the ability to kind of have that app that just sits within our app store. But it is possible. Um, and what I would probably recommend um, is that you look at our API documentation. So if you just go to Shopify developers, it will show you how you can connect your external tool to Shopify. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, just a follow up from Majid as well. He says, does Shopify uh, point of sale, is it accredited with, uh, well, in this instance being the, the Fiji revenue and custom service. So I mean, how's your point of sale? Um, is it accredited with the, the local, uh, I suppose, tax and, um, tax uh, institution or, or agency? So the thing with Shopify point of sale at the moment in APAC um, is that it's just the software. So you would still yeah. need to go out and purchase the, like the card reader. Um, you can actually use it through like an iPhone or like a mobile device, like an iPad or, or whatever. Um, but you still would actually need to go out and purchase the equipment. We will be, um, soon uh, be rolling out more of that kind of hardware. So the full 
kind of card reader, integrated devices, etc. Um, but for now, it is just the software that integrates with your Shopify store. So as an example, if you had a online store and an in-person store and a customer purchased something from the online store, that inventory would then be deducted also from in-store um, and vice versa. Um, but yeah, there's a, still a few limitations on the point of sale at the moment because it is just the software. Mm. No worries, no worries. And a question from uh, my, my learning colleague over in San Francisco, Praneet. I asked, does Shopify provide inventory management and order fulfillment services? Yeah. So as mentioned, we do have uh, inventory management services. So things like you can set up different inventory locations. So for example, if you were fulfilling from like a warehouse and a store, then you can actually set that up so that you've got both of those locations uh, right there within your Shopify admin and then set up your inventory quantities per store. You can also transfer stock between those locations as well in the back end of Shopify. We make that really easy. And we've also just launched the ability to be able to create purchase orders and also send them to suppliers as well, depending on how um, you currently, whether you manufacture that yourself or whether you're sourcing um, product or stock um, from external suppliers as well. Um, for anything that's even more complex or complicated than that, then as I mentioned, we've got the apps within the app store. So um, you can then see how far you can go with Shopify. We're, we're continuously improving our inventory management capabilities. Um, and then for anything else above that, then you've got the app ecosystem that you would be able to leverage. Awesome, awesome, thank you. And a CRM related question here. So is how is customer and inventory data maintained? Uh, could I map my customer data source for integration with a CRM system, for instance? Yeah, so again, we've already got kind of what we call out of the box integrations with a whole bunch of existing CRM platforms. Um, if you've got your own CRM system that either you've built yourself um, or it's not already as part of our app store, um, then again, you've got those APIs that you would be able to connect your CRM system to our CRM system so that the data will flow from your online store right through to your CRM and vice versa. What we always encourage our merchants to look at is when they are, if they've already got some tools in place, is looking at that tech stack. So understanding what is Shopify going to do in this case um, in terms of that customer relationship data. Is it going to be the source of truth or is the customer uh, relationship management tool going to be the source of truth and then understanding what information needs to flow back and forth for merchants that don't already have a CRM then Shopify can su suffice because we do have the ability for you to track things like um, you know how many orders the customers made what's their average order value what's their customer lifetime value um, you can add notes against the customer you can communicate with your colleagues against those records as well. So it just really depends on how um, robust you need the information about your customer. Um, and you can either integrate or you can do it within Shopify. Awesome, great. And a, a follow up from, from Pat as well, who asked that question, uh, says what's the data retention policy for my Shopify customer transactions? Yeah, so in terms of the um, data itself, there's a couple of different things that we look at. Um, so the first thing is around communication with customers, with the customers. So the customers need to actually um, opt in and be um, open to that email marketing. We actually have that record against the customer right there within the tool. Uh, and that's the same with any of our apps. So any of our apps that use email marketing, we need them to tell us, for example, if a customer opts out of marketing and vice versa, so that that information can flow back and forth. Um, and then in terms of the actual data itself, so we do store the customer data um, on the Shopify platform. Um, and then you've got the ability to be able to back up that data um, using some additional tools and apps that you can do as well so that you've got access to, to that data as well. Awesome. Great. Thank you for that. And uh, Christian's asking, uh, what cut does Shopify get uh, for us setting up the shop and, and selling our products? Yeah, so that's a really good question. So in terms of the subscription, so as I mentioned, they start at $9 US per month and they scale up to $299 US dollars per month. That's our advanced plan. Um, I'm on the Shopify Plus team, so our, um, uh, our platform is for enterprise merchants, um, but $9 to $299 for our standard Shopify plans. So that's the software subscription that you will pay, and that never changes. That's just based on the plan. It doesn't fluctuate. 
Um, and then on top of that, the only other um, kind of percentage or, or cut that uh, Shopify take um, is when you integrate with that payment gateway. So as mentioned, if you go to Shopify payment gateways, Fiji, you will see a list of the different payment gateways that we integrate with. And depending on the plan that you're on, we will take a small percentage of that transaction for each transaction for you using that third party gateway, because we manage that integration, we maintain it. All you have to do is essentially link it to your store. So you don't actually have to do any customization. So again, I recommend going to um, shopify.com.au or shopify.co.nz pricing, and then you'll actually see the, the different plans and then the different percentages that we take per transaction based on the different plan that you're on. Awesome. No worries. Thank you. And um, uh, I've got a question from uh, Nahid again from Vimzone United, who, who's speaking. I uh, was just advising on uh, sort of cost with, with DHL and, and she's noting the, um, I suppose, the, the price, which can be a barrier sometimes and, and, and quite costly for some of their, their clients. Um, so Nahid, I can, I can follow up with you individually on that. We're working uh, with the ministry on uh, what kind of assistance and relief we can provide for for exporters, um, just with respect to particularly freighting costs. I understand that's a, a significant barrier, and in particular in the current environment, with, with an increase um, in in in, in freighting costs. So, uh, just acknowledgement for from Nahida's observation. Um, question from from Pat again. He said for email marketing integration with Shopify or with Shopify, sorry, uh, which third party products would you recommend? Mm -hmm. So the one that we see a lot of our merchants using is a platform called Clavio, uh, which is K-L-A-V-I-Y-O. Um, so for any merchants that may be familiar with platforms like MailChimp, as an example, um, it's a very similar platform. However, we've got a native integration with Clavio. So it does things like... Um, uh, marketing automation. So for example, you can put customers on customer lifetime emails, different cycles based on different buying behaviors. Um, but then as mentioned, we've actually just launched Shopify email. So depending on where you're at in your journey, depending on how many customers that you have, depending on really what you need it to do, Shopify email might suffice. That's our own email marketing platform. And as mentioned, it's free until I think October um, for all merchants. So I would recommend if you don't already have a Shopify trial, jumping in, setting it up, playing around with Shopify email. The beauty of that is it uses all of your existing customer data, all of your product data. Um, so to set up the emails themselves, it's super simple because it's just pulling in all the information that already exists on your store. Awesome. No worries. Thank you so much uh, for that. And um, uh, Pat again asked, what's the plan to have a, a local uh, Shopify supports uh, in Fiji in the future. And if I can do some um, uh, promotion here, yeah, we would love to see uh, maybe Shopify on the ground uh, in Fiji and, and setting up there to, uh, you know, complement your, uh, your, your presence in the Pacific in New Zealand already. So uh, it'd be great if you can keep us updated on any kind of uh, plans that yeah, have local support sure. in Fiji or further integration into Fiji with other areas. Definitely. And as mentioned, this is just the start. Um, so we're lo obviously looking at strengthening our relationship, um, things like more payment gateways for you, um, being able to offer things like Shopify payments, which is our own payment gateway, um, having, you know, support on the ground there, you know, hopefully when we can do events again, hosting things like Shopify meetups, um, which are great events. They're in person. Um, typically, you will have someone from Shopify presenting as well as uh, local businesses presenting as well. So, um, yeah, a lot more of that to, to come. Um, we're just kind of scratching the surface now, but we've definitely now got a relationship um, and an open dialogue um, with you all. Um, and I know that there will be a lot more initiatives to, to come. Yeah, great. No worries. Hopefully, hopefully uh, first of many. And uh, are the invoices produced compliant with... Um uh, again, in this instance, being Fiji's local uh, revenue and, and tax agency, um, uh, the, the invoices produced, are they just kind of like the, the stock standard or, or are they specific to the, the mm -hmm. uh, locale? Yeah, so you do have the ability to fully customise any email notification that goes out from Shopify. Um, and then also on top of that, um, for any additional invoicing requirements, we do also integrate with invoicing platforms. So depending on what invoicing solution you're currently using, 
uh, potentially we can integrate with that platform um, to not interrupt the way that you're currently invoicing your merchant. So it really depends, you know, if it's B2B, B2C, um, how you're currently um, serving your customers, what that looks like. Um, but yes, in terms of the Shopify platform, yes, you can customize what that looks like going out to customers. Um, and then for any additional requirements, we can integrate with a third party invoicing platform. Mm. Great. No, I think this might, question might be on the same same line, but um, question from Pat asking how does Shopify manage the local um, value added tax in this instance and sales tax collection for uh, annual tax filing? So can, can they kind mm -hmm. of see on their dashboard um, mm -hmm. for, for that instance? Yeah, that's actually a really good question. Um, so as mentioned, you've got the ability to manage the taxes within the settings of Shopify. And then within reporting, um, you do have some finance reports that you can run. So we actually find that some merchants don't, again, depending on your business and um, like how many sales you're making, what you're selling, who your customers are, uh, where you're shipping to, et cetera. Um, the Shopify reporting may be enough. Um, you may not need an external invoicing or accounting tool. Um, it's it's kind of hard to comment on everyone's businesses because they're, you know, like I said, working with over a million businesses, they're all so, so different. Um, but yeah, my recommendation would be to... Um, jump in, set up a trial. You've got that help center. So even going in and typing like invoicing tax, um, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of information that you can read up on specific to your business and the uh, requirements that are, uh, yeah, specific to you. Mm, great, no worries. I noticed there, there was a question in the, uh, in the in the chat function, which which I um, didn't see, apologies for that, but they're asking, uh, does Shopify have the ability to set up products for cross-marketing, for example, selling a t-shirt and offering sunglasses? Yeah. So as mentioned, um, it could be the discounting that you use. So like if you wanted to set up a promotion whereby if you buy a t-shirt, you get a free pair of sunglasses. So that again is just out of the box in Shopify. It would take you a minute or two to set that up. You would just have to select the t-shirts that you want to be the product that needs to be purchased. And then with that purchase, they get the free gift, which would be the the sunglasses in this case, as an example. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of variations of those promotions. Like I said, the percentage off, um, the monetary value off, and you can set that per collection. So maybe it's only that it's, you know, 50% off sunglasses for the next three days, as an example. So you can actually set it up so that it's only available for a certain time on different products and collections. Yeah, awesome. No worries. And I know there's also a comment from your colleague, uh, Inez, who, who you referred to uh, during your presentation as well. Uh, particularly with support for uh, either Indigenous or, or Pacific women, for instance, on Shopify. So um, uh, just, just for everyone who, on the call, uh, Inez has said, um, I'm working on a project under Shopify Local where I hope to train up someone to provide a time for a webinar uh, support. Uh, it would be an office hours type format on a Thursday. Uh, she would like to know, uh, would Fijian businesses uh, use this time slot? Otherwise, uh, it'll be uh, via the usual support. So uh, just, just for everyone's reference, um, make sure we, we make that information available to everyone um, on the webinar today. We'll send through that um, information about that, the support and the uh, webinars they have specifically, specifically for um, uh, Pacific businesses. Um, uh, as well as the, the slides from today's uh, today's um, presentation as well. But uh, yeah, Amy, didn't know if you had any other uh, comment on, on Inez's? Um, uh, no, so just in terms of who, who Inez is, so um, she's our Shopify's Indigenous Global Ambassador um, based in New Zealand, which is, which is very exciting. Um, she is on the webinar today, um, just kind of listening in. Um, she was really keen to hear everyone's questions, comments, feedback. Um, and as I've uh, spoken with Daniel and the team earlier, um, you know, we'll be really looking at how we can forge ahead in terms of the relationship um, from the, the Pacific standpoint. So there'll be a lot more to come, um, whether that's uh, more localised content, webinars. Um, like I said, there's those um, Indigenous sessions as well for, for women in e-commerce to kind of get more guided one-on-one -on -one set up as well. Um, but yeah, we'll kind of send through some resources after today and then this is just, will be the start. Yeah, no worries. And, and I think um, that's probably a, a good point for us to uh, sort of start wrapping up on. So once again, Amy, I'd just like to thank you so much for, for taking the time to speak with us today, to present, um, show us everything that Shopify has to offer and, and what it has to offer for, for Fijian specifically. 
I'd like to thank everyone for, for attending their participation and, and their questions. And uh, yeah, as Amy said, it's just the, this is just the first step in, in, in what we hope will be, uh, you know, a, a broader partnership with, um, with Shopify and, and with Fiji, both the, the business and, and government as well. Um, just for everyone attending, uh, make sure you uh, keep in touch, uh, keep, keep on the lookout for, for our next session uh, as well. We'll put it up on, on social media and our website. Uh, but in the meantime, if there is anything you need, please feel free uh, to reach out. We'll send the resources uh, from this webinar through to you. Um, the information about uh, Inez's project as, as well as the, the slides from Amy's presentation. But uh, once again, Amy, thank you uh, so much. Uh, Vanaka, as, as, as we say in, in, in Fiji. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing everyone uh, again soon. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye. Thank you.